Right, what's going on people? Um, I've got something a little bit different for you today. We aren't out on the farm, we're not even in the tractor, we're not even near the farm. Um, I'm back in my, well, our office. This is my uh, place of editing, as it is. Uh, you can probably see I've, um, yeah, I've sort of started editing a bit of a video. This one's actually on here. <laughs> I managed to film this one before um, the video I'm going to talk about today even though I didn't realise I hadn't explained this yet so that video has to come out after the video today so today I'm showing you actually what is going on in the building I have the plans and they are kind of massive as you can probably see so what I'm going to do I'm going to sweep the desk off effectively um, I'm going to bring you down, I'm going to show you the the map, as I call it, the map of the building. <laughs> it's big enough to be a, a map thing. And I'll talk you through what's going on and what's going in the parlour. So I'll zoom you on down a minute and we'll be good to go. Alright then guys, so as you may be able to tell straight away, <laughs> it's going to be a robotic system. So. Yes, we are putting in robots, um, or VMS, which is Voluntary Milking System, as they call it. I will grab a pen a minute, and I will talk you through what is going on here. So this is the the full, full building. Um, from the front, which is where you see most of the pictures I take which is where the silage pits are so the silage pits are like over that direction over there um, and then this is the concrete road coming down here and I will um, be doing a tour and I'll be telling you of which parts this is uh, so down here is where the uh, separator will sit so we've got a, a big like slurry pit here and there'll be a separator sat here which will separate the solid from the liquid and um, make life a lot easier so coming through the building uh, we've got slats slatted channels all the way through the building so we've got one two three four five six seven um, these are going to be um, well we've got little robot scrapers so it's going to be fully robotic which is nice which park outside the building uh, they come in and they'll drive up and down the passages in with the cows the whole time and they'll be scraping the dung into these little slats and the slurry will just sort of dissipate down the channels and into the separator which gets rid of all of the slurry and it's going to be an all clean nice building um, there's cubicles so we've got um, single row of cubicles here double row of cubicles, single row of cubicles and you may be able to imagine this but the building will be um, sort of split up into quarters so if you actually split the building this way along here and this way along here each quarter will be identical so I'm going to show you my next drawing which is underneath this one which is a bit blown, more blown up so you can actually see um, what's going on a bit better so this is a more complicated drawing here there's a lot more going on and it'll be easier to explain as it's uh, a little more blown up so these uh, four blue blobs are uh, the four robots. Um, the slatted area in front is the collecting yard for the, the cows to go into and then um, then they go through the robot and they can go out to, to feed effectively. So we're going to imagine we're a cow to explain this a bit better. So over here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom you in a bit well, more. So we're going to pretend we're a cow. So we're led down in the in the cubicle so they can lie in either this row here or this row here if they're in this quarter for this robot um, the cows can come off the bed they'll be able to come along here and then they'll be going into a gate here which is a separation gate it's a two-way separation so the collars will be red here and the cow will be identified if she has milking access so if she hasn't been to the parlour in over a certain amount of time, it depends how we set it. Um, if she hasn't, she'll go into the collecting area and then she'll be 
The only way she can get out of here is if she goes through the parlour. So she'll go into the parlour, she'll get milked, and then she can go on her merry way out of a separation gate, which I'll explain in a minute, and out onto the feed fence, and she can do what she wants. She can come down here. A bit further down the building, you may have seen it on the other drawing, but there is a, a rotary brush just off the edge over here. Um, so they can have a brush and have a scratch. And then she can come through her one-way gate, so she can come back through this way and lie down. And then if she wants to go back to food, she go through the gate and say she'd come through the robot and she's gone and laid down, say an hour later, she doesn't have milk condition, she can go to this gate, the gate will open, she can go straight to feed. Um, nice and simple. And then coming back over to this part here, the cows, when they come out of the robot, say they've had an issue or they, they need their feet sorting, blah, 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 blah. They'll go into here and we can put on the computer, we can say, look, we want cow number, whatever, 525, um, and she'll come through here and this gate will recognize 525 and it will send her into the segregation area, which is over here. Now, over in this area, she has everything she needs and everything she would have over here. So she's got a bed here, which is sort of a cubicle area. She's got the feed over here. She's got water. And she can also still come back through this gate. If she has milking permission, it will send her into the area and she goes through the robot again. And if we haven't told the uh, gate to send her back to the group, she will then be separated again into the area. So if she wants to be milked, she can come through and still be milked, but she's still in the segregation area. Now, um, going over here, up at the top, this is where the, the tractor will come down, as you may be able to see over here, we've got a nice little diagram of the tractor. Wrong color, but you know, it's close enough. Um, so the feed will come down here, feed all of the groups, one side and the other, so down here. And yeah, it's going to be a very simple um, system. You can you can sort of run it on your own, really. You can do most of it without help. So we've designed it so that you know you can separate the cows off easily. So you can do that on your own. And if they're in this area, they've got we've got what we've got. It's more of a complicated area in here. We've got a bit of a roundabout system going on, where the cows can come out. And they can wander around, well, if we let them and we want to sort them out, we can open the gate up and hunt them around this area and it will send them into one of two crushes. So we can hold them for either if they need an operation of a, uh, a DA or something, you can send them into one crush or we have a foot trimming crush so that if we need to do their feet, they can come around, they go into the foot trimming crush. We can sort them out there and send them back. So, yeah, that's the main design of it. And now, well, you know, it's obviously robots. We've, um, as you may have seen down at the bottom, it was TH White's, which is De Laval. So we've gone for a De Laval uh, robot. We've got four of them coming. Uh, we have got a the herd navigator uh, on there as well, which I will have to do in more detail once it's all running. This is a very complicated and very sophisticated bit of technology, which will be explained a bit more. You can, if you want, uh, go online and have a look at it. Herd Navigator de Laval. Um, it's a really fascinating bit of kit, really. So, yeah, that sort of wraps up this. I'll give you sort of a bit of a conclusion in a minute and um, tell you a bit more about it. But otherwise, that is the designs. Um, we've sort of come up with these designs ourselves. We've been to many farms, um, we've been all over the, the country, we've been to Ireland as well. Um, well, mum and dad did, I stayed at home to carry on with the work and everything. But, um, yeah, we went. they went to Ireland, uh, looked around probably four farms over there. Um, we went down to Devon, Dorset. Um, I know they went up to Scotland as well. But we, we've, seen, we've, we've done our uh, homework and we've uh, you know, found a, a lot of sort of things we picked up on and what the best things to do for us were. And yeah, so that designs. I'll zoom you back to me in the chair and... Um, We'll carry on. Okay, so welcome back to my chair. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully um, found this video useful. I finally told you what we're doing and the plans for the future and actually what's going on out there. So maybe when I show you um, 
sort of the building side of things, it will make a bit more sense to you. Um, so you'll be able to see that the, the tanks under, oh, there's four tanks, and um, yeah, you can tell that that's actually where each robot will sit in, and I'll be able to talk you through it a bit more. Now you know what's going on, and I can tell you where the dairy's going and how that's all going to work. Um, we've got, we're not having a bulk tank, we're having a silo, so you know, we don't have to build a little shed around a, a tank, the tank is made for outside and it is a silo. Um, there's very feed bins and generators and there's a lot to talk about and a lot to show and a lot to still happen and develop. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it useful and sort of cleared up a few things that you may have been wanting to ask and whatever. And yes, I will tell you actually, um, each robot is going to hold 60 cows. So there's four robots. We're going to aim to be at, like I said, 240 cows. Um, it's all exciting times and I really do hope it goes well. And yeah, I think that's about about all I needed to say and um, uh, what is going on really. So yes, I will um, catch you later and I will show you, it'll be coming out very soon as well. I will go and film that either today or tomorrow, it depends on the weather. I like to have a nice bit of sunshine, it, it helps a lot. Um, so yeah, I will show you around the building and I'll explain it whilst I'm out there a bit more in detail. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy this video and I will catch you next time. Cheers.